Names like Twilight Payment, Cross Counter, Rekindling, all names that have etched themselves in Melbourne Cup history. And off, gates crash, and they're racing in the Melbourne Cup. Tell them lose and Club Rock for Japan. The Japanese have come here and they have conquered. Twilight Payment, what a ride, what a win. The for the half there, look at Vintage Cup. Vintage Cup coming down the gas, that is up. is the Internationals. From 1861 to 1993, the Melbourne Cup was a predominantly Australian and New Zealand dominated race. Let's win it. Second home, and Ferial does the double. Until Vintage Crop, the Irish horse, saluted in 1993, displaying to international runners that the Melbourne Cup is a race that is winnable. But Vintage Crop has got him. Vintage Crop, the Irish horse will win the Melbourne Cup. Very often, the good horses come from the same breeders, and very often, the same people look after the good horses. What, what's the secret and what's going on out there? I don't know. Good horse is a good staff, I suppose. And... Don't tell them. Yeah. <laughs> don't tell them. <laughs> you know, there's the old story of breed the best to the best, or the best you can get, I'd say. That's, that's the first thing to do. And then luck does have a lot to do with it, and environment. Behind and they're racing in the Lexus Melbourne Cup. I think international racing is, is great for everybody. It brings all the uh, farm lines together and everybody can get a handle on the horses and everybody finds out together what horse suits what races and it's experience. Over in Europe, we really specialise in breeding those staying types. We're known for it internationally. There's a real stroke to the ego to be able to come overseas, be the invader and dominate. So the Melbourne Cup is wrapped up in so many incredible stories of the 90s, early 2000s. Seeing the glamour and the names like Gay Waterhouse and Bart Cummings that have really become household names all over the world. One that really sticks out for me is in 2015 when Michelle Payne won the Melbourne Cup on Prince of Penzance. It made news worldwide and rightly so. I had goosebumps and tears in my eyes, but she took on the world and despite everything, she saluted in one of the world's biggest races. Because they think women aren't strong enough and we just beat the world. This is the future. Everyone is on equal playing fields. It doesn't matter who you are, where you're from. If you have the talent and the passion and the will to win, you can do it. That's all you can do and whatever will be, uh, will be. Sometimes races work out, sometimes they don't, and we know that when everybody uh, does their best, that's all you can do. The smallest details can make the biggest difference. So just like humans, horses get jet lag, they can pick up diseases when traveling. Going into the quarantine center in Werribee, you want to make sure that the horse can acclimatize, it can get into a new routine, and it's used to the time difference so it can perform at its best. One of the first things that international competitors will notice when they head to this race course is the weather. In the Northern Hemisphere, they'll be heading into winter, whereas here in the Southern Hemisphere, we could get anything from brilliant sunshine to a blustery spring breeze. And that's something that they'll have to adjust to and take into consideration. No, Dunedin and Rinkado, they hit the line up by no finish between Dunedin and Rinkado, nothing in it. After coming through the quarantine, adjusting to the conditions, the biggest journey of them all is about to start. These stands that are currently empty will be jam-packed with owners, trainers, jockeys and punters alike. Now we're here, what do we look for before the race? Of course, we need to know that these international competitors have made it through quarantine and their journey well. We're looking for a horse that has a glowing coat, has really taken to the Southern Hemisphere climate and is parading nice and calmly. You don't want a horse that's too on its toes and is sweaty running the race before it's even begun. The German horse has absolutely rocked in the Melbourne Cup. Happy horses run good races, so it's important that you can see the horses happy, healthy and glowing. So after years, months and in some cases even a lifetime, this is what it all comes down to. It doesn't matter who you are or where you came from. This is what we love about racing. Whether you're from Royal Ascot, Glorious Goodwood or like Michelle Payne from Country Victoria, if you have the determination, passion and grit, you can get across that winning line first and etch your name in Melbourne Cup history forever. Finish the win, the Lexus Melbourne Cup. And now, the greatest of them all, the Melbourne Cup.